Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, we're going to learn to make our very own viral video that is synced for music for social media. So here's a little example of a rough cut of what we're gonna make. So this is actually a lot easier to do than you think. Uh, obviously there's a way to kind of go through traditionally and animate this and make sure that like all of the timing and spacing in Premiere is set. But let me show you the easy way to do this. So I went ahead and imported quite a bit of photos. You could do this with video. You could do this all different types of music tracks. I'm using a, a track called Swing Lin. And uh, let's go ahead from the start and reset our workspace to work with social media. So I'm gonna reset my workspace to the vertical workspace, which is gonna give me a little bit better of a area to kind of build off of. And so I'm gonna kill that little preview sequence that you saw, and we're gonna start from scratch here. I'm gonna use the new sequence button, sequence, and here I'm gonna go to the social presets, and we're gonna choose that nine by 16, 30 frames a second, and we're gonna call this social sequence and hit okay. Once you have that, all you need to do is locate your music and drag that into the timeline. I'm gonna make sure I scale this out quite a bit because I wanna see uh, all of my track. Now this could be a very long track, this could be a very short track, it's really up to you. Uh, for our sake, I'm gonna hit this little back button up here to just to navigate backwards. I'm gonna set mine to list so you can see these. Uh, for my sake though, uh, I have a very simple 14, 15 second clip of this viral sound. Now, rather than dragging one photo by another in and doing this and figuring out where my waveforms are, that could be a nightmare, I'm gonna use the clip itself to set markers. There's a very important step here to do this the right way. Don't have your audio clip selected. Instead, just click away. And then if you hit spacebar, obviously it's gonna play your clip. Just make sure nothing is selected in your timeline. And then as I start to hear the beat, wherever I wanna put a picture, I'm gonna hit the M as in marker key. M as in marker. So again, very important step, do not select your clip. Click away and then hit space bar. And I'm gonna do this for our clip. I'm gonna be hitting the M key. I'm gonna to try to hit as loud as I can on the M key, but just every time you see a little green marker, if I do that, you can see a little green marker appear. There it is, We Right click, clear marker that's going to happen. So I'm gonna start at the beginning, here we go. All right, so that's all of our different markers. Now, these markers are gonna be pivotal because the next step is for us to select all of our different media holding shift and select all the media that we wish. I always like to have more content than I need just in case I want a little marker happy as I went to the uh, scene. And I'm going to then go to the bottom of my project window and find automate to sequence. When I click automate, by default, it's going to be set to this element here and placement will be set to sequentially. We want to change it to at unnumbered markers. Once we have at unnumber markers, we can go ahead and use the in and out range of these specific images to fill in the gaps between markers. Therefore, when I hit OK, again, very important, you're at the very beginning of your timeline, and when you hit OK, here we are, now we have something pretty special. Let's watch. <laughs> Super synced, super timed, really, really cool. Now, if I wanted to kind of take this a little further, I could go ahead and adjust these, and you'll notice some of them have black bars on them. I could go and select those clips and just go to my effect controls and scale those out. Uh, there, it, it depends how detailed you wanna be. You could add uh, keyframes to this to add different type of, of kind of parallax views or different animations. What I like to do in this case is I grab all of my clips and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a nest with them. So I'm gonna go to, let's see, sequence and we'll right click, it's a little easier this way here. And we're going to nest that sequence and we're gonna call this 
photos. And that's gonna create a really nice grouping. And then I usually take my group and I scale up my pictures uniformly. And for the most part, you usually get them all scaled out the way you need it. And if I double click here, I can go and access all of that content as I see fit. Uh, and I can even then even drop in that first image if I see fit as well. So I could go and let's go to thumbnail view and photos and I can find that first kind of blue clip and we'll just drop it in the middle there just to have something kind of filling that gap and voila we want to scale that up just a little bit maybe we'll scale it a little bit bigger and then it will scooch downward there we go How cool is that? In a matter of seconds, you've just made your very own viral social media video. The only thing that's left is going up to the export button, saving your file as an MP4, hitting export, and you're on your way to social media stardom. Hope you enjoyed this really quick tech talk, but it's that easy to make viral social media videos sync to music. Can't wait to see what you create and have a good one.